my dear friends and followers good morning today I want to talk especially to the elder ones of us to the ones that been out of school that have already children to the parents I know not many of them are maybe using Facebook or YouTube I also want to talk to the people that are always criticizing me for um, saying this COVID-19 is not real. I never said that. I say, well, that is a virus that is existing and that is causing a fresh cold. And someone that is very sick already or very old, it might kill. Yes. Just that you guys listen to that again. But it never rectifies a destruction of a country's economy or the world economy. Never. So, and what can I say? Think about your children, our children. Since months, they've been not going to school in a proper way. Since months, they are forced to stay inside. Since months, they cannot live the life a normal child is living. It is your responsibility, especially the ones that are always promoting this lockdown. You are not better than some of those Europeans coming to the Gambia and misuse children, abuse them. Because I call the actions of closing schools and uh, forcing children to wear face masks, well this is happening here in Europe, luckily not yet in the Gambia, but closing schools and forcing children and young people to wear face masks in school with that little school classes they have, I call this abuse, misuse. Me personally, this is my personal opinion. You can think whatever you want about it. But what you guys or those people or whoever is promoting this lockdown stuff doing to our kids is a crime. A crime against humanity. I am speechless. And do you feel well with what you guys are doing? I have to ask that. Think about it. It is a crime, a violation of human rights. It can not be possible that we are watching this and agreeing to it and saying that is cool. Forcing kids to live a life behind a mask? Do, you, do we all have lost our mind now or what? In Europe it is confirmed that children but also young people psychologically suffer most from these rules and regulations. You will not feel it today, not next week and not next month. But in some years, lack of education and traumatized. How can a government, not, not only talking about the Gambian government, worldwide, legalize abuse of children in that way, forcing them to do things? I mean, we don't have a deadly disease. I said it in other t uh, videos. And we have the deadly thing, the thing that is going on is destroying the, the future of those children, their mind, their development. How can a government authorize this? For me, it is disgusting. Sorry to say it. So please, on your brains and think, let the people, let the kids go to school. Are you guys crazy? Yeah. Legal child abuse, maybe not in a sexual way, 
which is I think the most horrible thing in the world but yeah well in a way to force them to do things they don't want to do I think I don't want I don't think that the youth or the kids want to wear face masks they want to play with other kids they don't want to hide their face and you old people governments force them our kids and later you will force them to take vaccinations you destroy the life of an innocent human being disgusting after <laughs>